Yo, what's up guys, Addicting Air here, here with, um, you know, how to succeed in online school. I've been realizing some people are actually getting lower grades in online school than they would in regular school, so I'm here to help some people out. Alright, so if you guys can please, before we even start the video, like and subscribe. I know I'm, I'm trying to help to get your C to an A here, so the least you can do is subscribe and like. But let's get right on with, um, you know, how to succeed in online school. So first, talk to the teacher. So what my school has is there's a support period where before class you can, or there's like a designated time like early in the morning where you can go to any teacher you want and ask for help. Now, if you want to secure like your participation grade that a lot of English teachers have, um, what you want to do is just go in the class, either talk to them for the last 10 minutes about anything random, right? Their lives, because they're also experiencing the virus. So you should just go in there and just ask, hey, you know, how's your day going? Or even ask them a stupid question about the subject, right? Things thing that, you know, you think it might make you look stupid, but to the teacher, it's someone that, you know, it looks like someone that actually cares about their schoolwork and they're interested in learning. So what I advise is to go ask a teacher a question or even after class, you know, ask, ask something stupid, ask something that she already said. Anything could help, right? So if you do that, your teacher would, you know, recognize your name as long as you have your name in Zoom or in Google Meets, whatever you guys use. And that would help you to get the A because they just know your name. So whenever they're like grading for participation, they, they check you because they think, oh, this person talked to me one to one. Right. Next tip. I know I'm kind of speeding through this, but there's like a virtual background. I'll try to edit it on the screen, but there's a virtual background filter where if you click next to your video and you can put a virtual background. Now, this is what something is something that can like make you um, stand out from everyone else, right? So you can put any picture, any picture you find on Google, you can put as your background. Now you can do that and the teacher might recognize you and maybe calls you out on it. Say, hey, why is the, why, why is like the space behind you, right? Why is earth behind you? And you just make like a smart remark or like, it's just all for fun. And you know, that's exactly what you need. The attention, not that you're seeking attention, but you just need that extra bit of you know something to make you pop out because for teachers it's just 40 squares right 40 squares on a zoom screen and they don't know which kid to like pay attention to call on right so you could be you could just pop out a little bit more with a with a virtual background and it, they'll make you call and you will make a smart remark and you just you know you make a smart answer and that's that's all the engagement you need for the day right believe it or not that's literally the highlight of some teachers teaching day right um, also what you can do is there's video filters. I know some teachers disable this completely. So if they're disabled, then you can't do anything about it. But if they're enabled, there is like, you know that pixel, um, the pixel sunglasses, sorry. And if you put those on, right, it wherever your eyes are, tracks your eyes. So wherever your eyes are, it'll put sunglasses on. Now this is perfect if you wanna go on your phone, right? If you wanna, maybe during a test, but we'll get to that, allegedly. You put these, you put these glasses on, and um, the teacher can't see which direction you're looking at, right? So you could be looking down, and as long as the, the computer camera sees your screen, it'll just lock onto your eyes, and it just creates, creates the sunglasses. They won't know where you're looking. So that's perfect for just either standing out again, just like I said with the virtual background, or just getting away from work, right? As something else you can do, you know, you could always um, flip your screen around, like rotate it, right? So if you want it to be funny, I guess you could rotate yourself, make it look like you're upside down. And that again, will get you the attention you need to get that participation grade to um, make the teacher like you more, I guess. That's that's the goal because most of the time, it's either you're studying, I'm not, I'm not gonna help you with that, right? I'm trying to teach you things that you can do specifically on online school, right? These are the things I've learned. Point number three is using your resources. So what you can do is you can have, you know, something next to you, you know, come here, come here. not too close, not too close, not too close. Six feet. You can use your phone. I didn't say anything, right? It allegedly. This is for educational purposes only. What you want to do is use your phone, right? A lot of teachers have you screen share during the test. They have you, um, you know, they have you uh, uh, unmute your mic. Just use your phone. Allegedly, I don't do this, of course. I'm a great student, right? So that that's my, you know. Those are my tips. I mean, use your phone, obviously, but why not? I mean, this is literally the perk of being on online school. You have anything to your disposal. You can ask your parent, you can um, ask your brother, whatever. There, there's so many ways that you could just get around this that I don't know how some people are getting lower grades than usual. 
you need to abuse the fact that you're not in person, right? So any disconnection, like there, you are only, you have to understand, you're like a tiny little box on their screen. Like the chances of you getting caught as long as you're not talking or it's not obvious, like it doesn't pop up on their screen who's talking, then it is, then use it to your advantage. I should not see anyone getting lower grades than they did at school. It just doesn't make sense. So that's it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.